All right, let's talk about a couple drawing hacks on drawing programs that you can use to draw faster and more efficiently. Number one, if you're struggling to make your coloring look good, this trick might help you. If you want to make a good color palette that doesn't look weird or messy, this is what you can do. The first is to pick a bunch of colors that you would want to use on your drawing. You could have maybe five colors on there. It doesn't matter how random they are. Just choose five. Then what you're going to do is pick one color, which is going to set the overall vibe to your drawing. If you want it to be kind of warm, you could use orange for example. So you're gonna draw a blob of orange, then in another layer, you're gonna put your other colors on that, then lower the opacity of that layer. If you notice, the color is completely different even though it looks the same. This is gonna improve your color because you have this one unifying color to set the overall vibe. So the next time you color, you use this tip. Number two, transform. So we all know about the transform tool. With the transform tool, you can basically resize or move your sketches. However, did you guys know that you can use it with keys? For example, when you press the control button while dragging it, it lets you deform the image. This is actually like really good for drawing stuff from different perspectives. Another thing is the anchor, which is this cross over here. When you're rotating an image, it just rotates around the center, but you can drag that anchor so that the selected parts would rotate around that. This is going to be really really useful if you're drawing body parts. This is gonna make you change their poses without having to redraw all those body parts. So this next tip is actually kind of weird. I don't know why people don't get this concept. If your canvas is small, your drawings will be small. As a result, it will have smaller pixels and it's gonna look like crap. This is a super overlooked tip, but very, very important. Always make sure to draw on a large canvas because this is going to affect the quality of your art. I mean, I'm not saying that your art will look less crap than it already is when you make the canvas larger. I'm just saying it will improve the image quality. So for me personally, I use 1500 by 1900 pixels. This is actually important for me since first, it's a pretty good size to start with, not too small, but also not too large for my program to keep crashing because my laptop sucks. But also, this dimension also allows me to upload my full drawing on Instagram. As you guys know, there's only a certain part of the photo that you can upload on Instagram. So just a side tip, when you're drawing art, always consider where you're gonna post your art. Usually on Instagram, people look through their phones. So I make sure to make my art more vertical than horizontal, if that makes sense. Also, consider how you're gonna crop it in case it's too big for Instagram. You gotta think Think about those things if you want clout, you know? Just some advice, you know, from a professional cloud chaser. This next tip is about background color. So this tip is pretty straightforward. The only thing you're gonna do is before you put anything on your canvas, change the background color to a neutral gray, about 50%, you know, somewhere around here. The thing is, if you're not that experienced with the coloring yet or values, a solid white background might be bad for you since like everything is going to be dark in comparison to your white background. However, when you use a super dark background, everything is going to look so light compared to your background. So the solution? Just use a color somewhere in the middle. The next is the lasso fill tool. Now you've heard of the lasso tool and you've heard of the fill tool. What if I told you you could use a lasso tool as if it was a paint bucket. So simply head over to this straight line tool group called figure and then you'll see the lasso tool right there. Then just pick up whatever color you want and use the lasso tool normally, like how you would use it. This is going to allow you to use the lasso tool to fill colors. This is way better than using the paint bucket tool, which is hard to use, especially when you're using different layers. And you know, that's pretty cool and all, but it gets better. So there is a way to make the lasso tool self-aware or whatever you call it. And it pretty much means that your lasso tool will only color the parts that you want it to. So let's say that you have some line art over here and you only want to color the clothes. What this basically does is that it only colors just that, just the clothes. This is called enclose and fill. And here's how you do it. Now you can manually set it up, but 
that would be dumb because there is a free tool that does exactly that from the clip studio asset store it'll be in the description we gotta work smart over here anyway it's actually really simple to do all you need is your line art which is in one layer and then add another layer below that for coloring and then the tool that you downloaded thank me later so on your line art layer convert it into a reference layer just by pressing this button and that's it it's basically just gonna use this lasso thing to just fill a certain part of your drawing so i do want to point out that this only works on clip studio since it's from their asset store so just a quick disclaimer over here but you can download clip studio in the description as well i promise you you won't regret it next so i know everyone uses the control z button people even accidentally use it in real life however if the undo button is the only shortcut that you're using in drawing you are seriously dumb using shortcuts is super time saving and it helps out a lot so for example i made the h key a shortcut for flipping the canvas this is super helpful okay because as we all know flipping the canvas makes us see how crappy our drawing really is it's a magic tool it's an eye opener you have to constantly be using that tool to remind yourself that you suck so you have to make it a shortcut it's actually very easy to set it up for clip studio for example just head on over to file and click shortcut settings also bonus tip usually when you press the x key your colors will switch to the secondary color over here and pressing the c key will switch to the transparent color the transparent color is super underrated and helpful because it can make your brushes act as as erasers it's gonna have the same texture everything just use the transparent color the next one is the liquify tool is it underrated no but am I still gonna include it in this list because I love it so much absolutely however while some people just think that the liquify tool is just able to move the pixels around there are actually a lot of settings on this tool for example the expand tool makes your drawings bigger and so on I like this better than the transform tool because because the transform tool is really messy so when I'm trying to fix the face I prefer using the liquify tool and I suggest that you guys do that as well okay last but definitely not the least I just felt like including this because it's hella underrated okay I saw this tweet that says that apparently you can turn images into 3d poses using the pose scanner on clip studio all you gotta do is go to files click import and then choose pose scanner then select an image and it's basically gonna generate that pose for you and i'm telling you guys it is so amazing it absolutely blew my mind when i saw it okay did you enjoy this video of course you did then why aren't you liking it yet bro anyway click this next video right here and i'll see you there stay cool